Now that we have our preferences set up inside of Reason, let's talk more about Reason. When you first launch Reason with an empty rack, you have the MIDI end device at the top of the rack and the sequencer at the bottom. Now let's create some instruments. You can do this two ways. You can click on Create to get a drop down list of all the available instruments, mixers, and effects located inside of Reason, or you can simply right click on a blank space on the rack to get the drop down list. Let's first create the 14 2 mixer. Inside this Reason 3.0 tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about working with vocals. We can use the Redrum computer to actually trigger vocal samples that are WAV or AIF files. You can't record into Reason, you have to use a program like Ableton, Logic, or Pro Tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and let's create a mixer. And then let's scroll down and we're going to create a Redrum machine. Here we go, Redrum computer. Alright, great. Now if we click here on the folder, right here where it says browse sample, if we click here, we can actually open an AIF or a WAV file that's a vocal sample inside of the Redrum computer. Here we've got some stock library samples of some vocals. Let's open these up. We'll click on open. All right, so we just opened the vocal sample, come on, inside of channel one on the Redrum. Let's click on the play button to preview it. Come on, come on. All right, so let's take a look at how we can adjust this particular vocal sample. We can record our MIDI in real time to the sequencer. We must first select the subtractor, place the playhead at the desired location, which ours is already there, which is count one on measure one. And since we already have some beats, we don't need to use the click track. But for training purposes, I'm going to go to the mixer and click solo on the subtractor channel, which is channel three. And we're going to use the click track to record our MIDI. Okay, I'm going to highlight the record button and then come over to the click and enable the click track. So now when I hit play, we will start recording. The Dr. X Loop Player is an instrument that will play loops from the Reason Factory Sound Bank or loops that you create using Recycle, which is another program used for creating loops that is made by Propeller Heads, the manufacturer of Reason. When we first launch the Dr. X, we need to load a loop. Let's click on Browse Loop, indicated by the folder icon. Let's go to the Reason Factory Sound Bank. And as you can see, we have Dr. X Drum Loops, Dr. X Instrument Loops, and Dr. X Percussion Loops. Let's first try Dr. X drum loops. Let's go to the glitch folder and let's try Mangle Beat 85. We can preview the loop by clicking on preview. Let's copy that loop to the sequencer. We would click the Dr. X in the sequencer, click on the Dr. X, then edit, copy loop to track. Okay, let's take a look and listen. <laughs> 